Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn how to write calculations to display the KPI based on the user selection. So here we have two parameters, so choose year and date range. Whenever user selects a year and based on the date range, for example if user selects the date range as year, it will display the year. So we don't have the data for 2024, if I select 2023, then it will display the sales for the 2023 versus the previous period that is uh, 2022 uh, showing the indicator whether the value is low or high. If a user selects the Q1, it will display the values for the 2023 Q1 and with comparison to the 2022 Q1. So let's see how to write these calculations and develop this KPI. I'm connecting to the sample superstore data source. In this data source, we have the four years of data. Let me write the two parameters first. So first parameter is to select the year. I will name the parameter as uh, choose year. So provide the values uh, for this year so I'm going to select the data type as the integer and provide the list of values 2020 2021 2022 and 2023 here in the display as uh, show you can remove the comma do this for all other values and then select okay next we'll write one create one more parameter for the date range selection so we will uh, name this uh, parameter as date range choose the data type as string select list i'm going to provide year so whenever user selects year it will display the whole year data so if user selects q1 it will display q1 and the q2 should display and then q2 value for the selected year so we can keep on adding for q3 and q4 for now i will uh, stop here and i will add the values for the month if it is m1 we'll show it as display as jan january and m2 as february so we can keep on adding for all other months i will stop it here and then select ok so now we have created two parameters let's write the calculations for uh, the to filter the data based on the selection so first i will write one calculation to filter the data for current selection let's say create sorry i need to select create calculated field create calculated field and the name of the calculation is filter current selection okay so if date range is equal to year then we need to show the data for the selected year that is choose year is equal to year of order date we will end this calculation here to see the output of the calculation click ok let me drag this calculation to the filters and see the output so i will select true and if you see uh, we have selected by default 2020 as the default selection so it is showing 2020 if we select 2022 it will show 2022 so right click show parameter for the date range so next we'll write the conditions whenever user selects the q1 it should display the data for q1 okay let me drill down to the quarter level so here we have q1 q2 values we will use uh, whether the user has selected quarter or month we need to so i will use left and right functions so left of Q1 will give us the Q, whereas right of uh, 1 it will display, it will give us the output 1. So, edit the calculation. So, else if, so instead of date range here, if user has selected Q, then we should display data for the quarter. Left of date range, comma 1. If this one is equals to Q, okay, then we need to display the data for the selected year. Choose year is equal to year of order date, and we need to add one more condition that is to show the data for selected selected quarter. Okay, so we can do that using the quarter of order date.
so if this quarter of order date is equal to so date of sorry date range come on one so this one will give the one we need to convert it to the integer in Have an error say closing parenthesis intent. So we need to close the bracket. Okay. Now click OK and see the output. So I will explain what is happening here. So now if you select Q1 to show the data for Q1, if you select 2023, will show 2023 Q1. Okay, if you select Q2, it will show the Q2. So what we are doing is we are uh, basically using the value that we provided in the parameter. Okay, so if left of date range is equal to Q, which means user has selected quarter and we should display the Q1. How this calculation knows uh, to display Q1? Because we have written quarter of order date is equal to integer right of date range comma 1. So this one will give, if user selects Q2, it will return 2 here. If Q1 user selects Q1, it will return the 1 here. So it will display the, uh, based on the selection, it will display the value, filter the data. Okay. Next, we will write one more condition for the month so sorry let me copy this condition control c control v okay if left of date range is equal to one so we have given for months as m1 m2 m3 like that okay uh, for if users if left of date range comma one is equal to one which means user has selected month so i'm going to change it as month of order date is equal to it is the right of date range one Okay, click. Okay, now if user selects the January, it will display the data for January only. If user selects the February, it will display data for February. If user selects Q1, it will display data for Q1, Jan, Feb, March. If it is for Q2, it will display April, May, June. If user selects 2022, then the calculation the data will automatically filter to the selected period okay now next uh, we'll write one more calculation for the previous period let me duplicate the same calculation okay let me duplicate the sheet i'm going to name it as the previous period okay so i will rename this calculation to this previous selection okay filter previous Okay, so the calculation is simple. We can easily modify the current selection to the previous selection by simply adding minus one to the chosen here add. So if choose year minus one, add minus one everywhere where there is a choose year here minus one and then click OK. Now instead of this filter, I will take the filter previous selection and put it here into the filters and then select true click ok if you can see we have selected 2021 q2 it will display 2020 q2 so which is the previous period ok i am going to name this as current period ok so now building the kpi is uh, easy let me bring these two sheets into the dashboard and see the comparison The current period is 2020 so 2023 i will select it will show 2023 q2 previous period 2022 q2 so if you want to do the sales for the current period you can simply write create calculated field sales and period if filter selection current selection is true then sales and you can add some to aggregate the values Okay. Now duplicate the same calculation for the previous period. Right click edit and I will name this calculation as sales previous period. So if 
filter previous selection is true then sales so next one more calculation we need is percentage sales growth okay that is sales current period minus sales previous period divided by sales previous period okay and click ok I will change the default properties to the percentage with one decimal point click ok now let's build the KPI that we need um, we need uh, one sheet for the current sales so sales current period I'm um, let's increase the size of the text so it will keep 16 okay click ok so this is the sales current next we need one more calculation for the indicator actually so I will copy this indicator symbol from the previous workbook so let me go to the sheet here so sales indicator edit so I will take this symbol up in up arrow so we will write the calculation create calculated field I am going to name the sales indicator if its sales growth is greater than zero then which means we need to get the up indicator else else if sales percentage growth less than zero then we need the down indicator let me copy this indicator symbol and paste click ok now let me drag all these values here so sales indicator sales growth value and in the brackets we will show the sales of the previous period so let me put it these calculations in single line So I'm just adding the space and brackets here. Okay. So we need to change the color based on this uh, up down indicator. So I will uh, drag the indicator to the color. So if it's down, we need the red color. Okay, right. And if it is up, we need the green color. Just to assign the color, we will uh, reverse this less than and greater than. So I will simply change this less less than symbol to get the up arrow here. So here we have the up arrow, I will double click and I will apply the green color. So we have assigned the colors to the symbols. So I will change the calculation back to it. To the greater than zero, up arrow, less than zero, down arrow. Okay. So that we assign the colors to the sheet. Okay. This one is the indicator sheet. Okay. Now go to the dashboard and bring these KPIs somewhere here. We can. I will hide the title so I'm just doing the realignment here I will bring one blank object or something else or any text object. Okay. 
okay you can align as uh, per your dashboard design okay so now let's see how whether this indicator changes or not so i will select 2022 q2 so now it is comparing uh, showing the value for 2022 q2 and comparing the 2021 q2 okay so i hope this tutorial is helpful to you if you like this video please hit the like button and do subscribe